Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Tiffany and this is my friend, Miss Becca. Hi, I'm excited to worship with you guys. So this is a time just for kids and their families to worship God together. So we're gonna start by singing and dancing. So you can go ahead and stand up and sing and dance along with us. a great job. Now it's time for us to watch and listen to a Bible story. So go ahead and put on your listening ears and let's watch and listen to this story from the Bible. Slapstick Theater. John's letter about love. This is John. Hey there. John was a disciple of Jesus. He heard Jesus' teaching huh. Hi, yeah. and saw how much Jesus loved people. Wow. John spent the rest of his life telling others about Jesus. John wrote letters to people who believed in Jesus to encourage them and teach them. Hmm. In one of his letters, he wrote about real love. He said that we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us, so we should do the same for others. If someone has enough money to live well, and sees another in need but doesn't help. Ah, uh, yeah. How can God's love really be in that person? John said, let's not merely say that we love each other, but let's show our love for people through our actions. Our Bible story today was about John, who was a friend of Jesus. John was with Jesus every day when Jesus was doing his miracles and when he was helping people and healing them and teaching them about God's love. So John knew all about God's love for all of us and how we need to love each other. That was what Jesus taught the most, that God loves us and that we need to love each other. And so John wrote a letter, just like you might get a letter in the mail or a card in the mail. John wrote a letter to the Christians, to the churches at that time, reminding them of God's love for us and that we need to show that love to others. In our video, it told us a few ways we can do that, right? We can share what we have if we have extra. Um, sometimes we give away um, if you're a kid watching, you might be giving away old toys or clothes, right? Your family might even collect something spe especially for a food drive or for a back to school drive to help other people in your community, right? We can also give away money if we have, um, you know, when grownups start working, we give money to support churches, to support other ministries, to support people who need it, right? 
we can also share and care in our relationships, in our friendships, in our families every day. We can show God's love through our actions by being kind to one another, by sharing, by being there if someone is hurt or sick or sad. We can be a good friend, we can be a kind neighbor and listen to them and help them through their problem. All those things are ways to show God's love. And the Bible story even tells us that we, when we receive God's love, part of loving God is loving other people. So we can go to church, we can worship God, we can read our Bibles, and just as important as all those things is how we treat others and how we love others. So always remember that we can love God by getting to know God, reading the Bible, praying, going to church, watching worship. We can also love God by loving others. We are gonna continue in our chapel time with some singing and dancing. So go ahead and stand up and sing and dance along with us. <laughs> before we leave. So can I have you put your hands together and close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this time we have together. Help us to love each other the way Jesus loves us. 
Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. We have a new worship video every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. And then in person or online, we worship together at 10.30 every Sunday. So thank you. Have a good day.